lake is just outside the entrance to the gardens. It is part of a large marketplace. This area is heavily touristed. There was a tour guide leading a group around and we listened to some of her comments. She said that older Chinese people would take their shoes off and walk on these stones as a kind of foot massage. The points in the feet are very important in Chinese medicine. We saw bamboo scaffolding at construction sites all over Shanghai, sometimes going up five or more stories. This woman knew everything about tea and let us try as many as we wanted for free. As might be obvious, she used loose tea and brewed it in a traditional way, just for Zach and me. as much of a panoramic view of People's Square as I can. You might recognize the Shanghai Museum from a previous film strip. It is on one side of People's Square.
Crossing the street is the most dangerous thing about Shanghai. Drivers will run you down. Modern pedestrian bridges, like the one you see here, are beautifully engineered to solve the problem. The trouble is, there are far too few of them. Later in this film strip, we take you to the top of Jin Mao Tower. The so-called sightseeing tunnel goes under the Huangpu River and connects both sides of Shanghai. You ride through the tunnel in these small cars. The lighting effects were cheesy, but fun. That's me a bit blurry in the photo. It was a rainy day when we went to the observatory at the top of Jin Mao Tower. We arrived in the early evening. This is looking down the atrium from the top. Zach was courageous enough to lean over the plexiglass to snap this photo. The bottom is at the 54th floor, more than 30 stories down from the observatory. These photos were shot through raindrop dotted glass. The Oriental Pearl Tower at dusk. And again after dark. The Shanghai World Financial Center. The Huangpu River.